everyone on YouTube, it is Michelle and I am actually making this video as a response to two YouTubers that I'm following. Uh, their screen name is just Kaylin and Robert. Um, so I'm also just past my third IUI and it did not work. Um, and when we, when we went into the appointment, the doctor's like, well, you have, you know, unknown infertility. I've got polycystic ovaries, but um, not PCOS, which is confusing to me. Um, my husband does not produce sperm, so we had to use a sperm donor, which is frozen sperm, which only has 10 million count, and the motility it was like 20% or something. And you get one shot each time, and it's like, that's all... You know, there was no time to intercourse after that or anything because that's all you get, donated sperm. So, um, but the fertility doctor was like, oh, you know, I see you conceiving in within three times. And so, that didn't happen. <laughs> um, and like you guys said, the whole roller coaster of, you know, you get excited, oh, it's going to happen this month, and then it doesn't. And so, um, my husband is not too enthusiastic about it happening, but I'm trying to remain hopeful that it will. So, um, we are going to try, um, we're going to just gonna try, uh, I think it's called ICI, which is, where you inseminate at home versus at the doctor's, but I'm still going to be using fertility medication. So we're gonna try that for three months. And if that doesn't work, we will highly consider IVF. Um, like you guys, our insurance does not cover IVF. So I'm going to do something wild and crazy. And if we don't get pregnant, I'm going to get a job at a place that has IVF coverage. Um, I don't know about your area. I'm in North Carolina. Um, I, from what I've read, Time Warner Cable has excellent coverage, and I want to say it's everywhere. Um, and they cover 80%. So that would be doable for us. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. But at this point, anything could happen. So uh, as far as foster adopt... I do know a little bit about it. Um, my friend, my friend uh, Janice, she has fostered to adopt three children. So, um, so you can tell them what age groups you want. If you're open to siblings, um, they will place children with you that have the potential to be adopt to be adopted. Um, not all children go into the system. Um, with that being the goal in mind, the goal in mind often is to, you know, get the kids back with their pa their parents. Um, but there are children that they kind of just already know that they're not going to most likely be going back to the parents. Um, so that's one thing you can, you will wait longer probably if you have that restriction of age. But if you, if you're looking to adopt a younger child, um, that's something you can do. Um, let's see what else. Uh, then I guess there's classes that they're going to have you take, um, to get approved. Um, I think they do a home inspection. They want to make sure your house is safe. I don't imagine that dogs would be an issue, um, unless the dogs are mean when they do the home visit. <laughs> um, trying to think. Uh, there's definitely a period when you're fostering them um, that the parents' rights have to be stripped. You're going to have court cases, court dates, um, where they have to terminate the parents' um, parental rights. And then after that, then you would be free to adopt. Um, I'm trying to think that's pretty much all I know. Um, if you have any specific questions, I can always um, get you in contact with her. Um, and I wish you guys the best of luck. And... Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Bye.